I wanted to see if I could get a carnivore diet from chat GPT. That is the artificial intelligence program from OpenAI that will write you an answer to any question that you care to ask. This was important to me because I wrote a book about my physical transformation, about the exercise I use and the approach to nutrition that I used in order to overcome obesity. And I was thinking how much easier it would have been to write my book if I could have simply formatted all of my workouts and my nutrition by asking a question and then hitting return. But now I've gone carnivore. So I went to ChatGPT and I put in this exact question. Now that I look at it, it isn't even a question. It's just a command. And it says, create a seven day carnivore meal plan at 1400 calories per day. So I hit return and literally in a matter of seconds, it started to spit out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got the whole meal plan. But what's fascinating about it, and it was actually very interesting, and there was meat and bacon and eggs, but there was also at least one serving, maybe two, of vegetables every single day. And I thought, well, that's fascinating because I first went carnivore with Vince Gironda's steak and egg diet. So there weren't any vegetables in that diet, at least for the amount of days that you were doing steak and egg. Then you would go back and add some vegetables back in. But I thought that was really interesting that the version of the carnivore diet from ChatGPT had non-starchy vegetables in it like broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. So then I went back and I said another question. I put in the same command, create a seven day carnivore meal plan at 1400 calories per day with no vegetables and add dairy. And this is what I got. They took out all of the vegetables and for every day it was one cup of whole milk. Now I do eat dairy on my carnivore plan, but believe me, it's not whole milk. It's heavy cream and it's cheese, full fat cheese. And sometimes I don't eat it at all. So the point I'm trying to make here is you can ask AI any question, but it's the history and the information that gets put into the system that's going to determine what you get back out of it. And the reality is that the best person to consult about a carnivore diet would not even be me. I would go to somebody like Sean Baker, who is a medical doctor. And then you might want to go to the opinion of somebody like me, who has lived a carnivore lifestyle for tips and strategies and ideas about how to incorporate it into your life. AI can write programs for us, but the experience of real human beings in how to follow the program is always going to be invaluable. And if you're not a human being with experience, how do you know whether cauliflower and broccoli and Brussels sprouts are on a carnivore diet? You might not know. And then I followed up with another command, but this was on a different AI system. This was from Canva. This was their magic writer. And I said, well, let's see what it can write for me. So I asked the magic writer to create a dumbbell training program for a week. And it gave me a lot of good exercises, but here's the problem. Every single day of that workout program had lunges in it. I don't know about you, and I was a certified personal trainer. I trained many, many clients and I've been training myself for years. All of those lunges would do a number on my knees. So what I saw is a program that yes, had plenty of good dumbbell exercises in it, but had all of these lunges in it where I would put in Romanian deadlifts, alternating side lunges and supported reverse lunges in order to protect the knees. So even though you can put in that command, create a workout for me, that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be able to do the workout safely. So again, you can get this information for free. You can get this information instantly, but what you can't get is the experience that tells you how to use it. So AI is here and I think it will be helpful. It will actually help writers and trainers, composers, anybody who creates information or puts out information for a living or as a hobby or any reason to gather information and deliver it to the public. This can help, I believe, with formatting, 
with ideas and with structure because what I did do with that workout, I took that at home dumbbell workout, I split it up into three workouts a week. So obviously you get rest days in between your workouts. And then I modified the exercises to the ones that have worked for me and worked for my clients in the past. And those modifications were actually really easy to do. I had the format, I had the headings, it was very easy to put together. And then I was able to just simply delete and then write in the things that I knew worked for me. So the truth is, yes, it saved me a lot of time. And if this had been available when I was writing my book, I might have put commands in create this four week workout with dumbbells that people can do at home. Yeah. And then I have that template and I can just go back and refine it using my experience. You can use artificial intelligence to generate data, to generate ideas, but then use human experience and human expertise to go back in and modify it so it works. Because the carnivore diet has been so effective for me because I am quite simply not hungry outside of my two meals a day. And it gives me the energy, the enthusiasm, and the focus to go out and do the things that I love. So until the next video, be well, eat for yourself, and I'll see you back here on the Sugar Freedom Channel.